Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Caitlin Engel. I'm a registered dietitian and also NKF's program development director. And I'm joined today by Dr. Joseph Fazilotti, NKF's chief medical officer and also a clinical professor at the ICANN School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York. Um, thanks everyone for joining us today to discuss the COVID-19 vaccines and their impact on the kidney community. Um, so first, Dr. Vazilati, you are working with kidney patients all day long. What specific information regarding COVID-19 vaccines do you feel that people living with kidney disease should be aware of? Well, first, thank you very much for that introduction. I want to welcome everyone, and I'm thrilled that we're here today to talk about the COVID-19 vaccine, or vaccines, I should say more properly. This is a huge achievement for science uh, that took um, a year, a year's time, and really less than a year since we had the first wave of the pandemic in this country in, in March and April. I think the main purpose of today is to help you get a little comfortable with information about the vaccine. Some of you probably feel absolutely committed to having the vaccine. Others are absolutely sure that you do not want the vaccine. And probably many of you have uncertainty about what the best decision is for you in your unique circumstance. I think for our country, I would say that most authorities believe that the vaccine is really our best chance for a return to normalcy. If you miss your grandmother or your grandchildren because you haven't seen them since the pandemic or you miss going to the ballpark or the stadium, um, these vaccines offer uh, our best opportunity uh, for that return to normalcy or to begin to return to normalcy. I think it's important that we say today is January 11th, 2021, and this information is emerging very rapidly. So what I'm going to say is specific to what we know up to today, and that in general, I would say, most of the health authorities think that for most kidney patients, it's in your best interest to receive the vaccine. But I think it's important for us to say that the purpose of this conversation is not for you to make a decision. The purpose of this conversation is for you to get comfortable with the information so you can work with your nephrologist or your dialysis care team or your transplant care team to make the best decision for you in your unique circumstance. 